Salutations, Internet, and welcome back to Dewombat Gaming. I'm Dewombat, and we are still playing Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. In the last episode, we completed the Undead Campaign, Path of the Damned, by completing Chapter 8, Under the Burning Sky. We summoned Darkamon to the world, and he destroyed Dalaran. If you'd like to see him destroy Dalaran, then click right here on this annotation, right here. Cinematic, the destruction of Dalaran. It'll take you to it. Now, let us continue with the third campaign. The Orcs, the invasion of Kalimdor. Finally, we get to be with Thrall again. Chapter 1, Landfall. Following the mysterious prophet's instructions, Thrall led the horde across the great sea. Now, after weeks of traversing the raging seas, the Orcish horde has landed upon the savage shores of Kalimdor. With their stolen ships broken and drowned, the Orcs cautiously venture inland, wary of the unseen dangers lurking within the crags of the desolate land. I love the orcs. They're awesome. They're just... They're so cool. They're savage beasts. Kind of. But they have so much... They have so much story behind them. They're great. If you don't know, the orcs come from a different dimension or different planet, depending on how you view the universe. Our ship sustained heavy damage when we passed through the raging maelstrom. It's unsalvageable. I knew it. Can we confirm our location? Is this Kalimdor? We traveled due west as you instructed. This should be it. Very well. Has there been any sign of Grom Hillscream or the other ships? No, War Chief. Not since we got separated. Hmm. Prepare to move out. If our comrades did make it here, we should be able to find them along the coast. I wonder if I can do a grunt voice. Master? Master? Yes? Yes? I am the Yeah, I probably can't do it too well. So you see here, we have troll headhunters. I don't know where they came from. Back in the prologue, all we had was these guys, and Thrall, and Grom. And now, all of a sudden, we have these troll headhunters as a ranged unit. What the balls? That doesn't make any sense. They shouldn't be here, but for some reason we have them. The game never explains it until the expansion. So, after we finish this game and eventually go to the expansion, I will show you the the story of how the orcs came across these trolls. I'll show you. It'll be easy. Killing murlocs, murloc flesh eaters. So the goal of this mission is to find all of your forces because the ships crashed in different spots. And of course to explore and level up Thrall because he's only level 1. Yes. He's got chain lightning though. So that's awesome. I love that spell. Dabu. None will survive. Yeah, slaughter those boxes. Lok Norosh. Lok Tarogar. Zap. Now, this is the first time that we have a hero unit that can't heal his units. So, we can't heal our units with Thrall. So, we're going to have trouble keeping all of them alive, especially our headhunters, because they're weak. However, trolls have very fast regeneration, as I'm sure several of you know from D&D lore and other such stuff. Trolls regenerate very quickly. They can even regenerate limbs, technically. If you cut off a limb, it'll just grow back. They're like lizards, kind of. Let's kill that pig. None will survive. I killed that pig. That pig lives, though. The spirits. Take that pig. One of our ships, War Chief. It must have been smashed against the rocks in the storm. Honor. Well, hopefully, we'll yes. find the people who are in it, and they're not all dead. For honor. More murlocs over here. They've got a huntsman and a flesh eater and a normal murloc tide runner. The Flesh Eater acts a lot like a ghoul. If it gets to low health, it's going to eat the dead bodies. So, that's him eating a dead body. His health regenerates, but we kill him fast enough. So, since we can't heal our units, we are given healing wards very often, which we can use to heal our units. We just place it down and it heals all of our units in that area. Destroy these Murloc huts, because I don't want the Murlocs to have anywhere to live. Because I'm mean to Murlocs. I hate fish. Well, I like eating fish. It's one of my favorite foods, but I hate fish people. I'm racist against them. Whoa, dead bodies. Your time has come. A great battle took place here. The clay is red with fresh blood. 
Is there nothing in this land but dust and carnage? Yeah, this place is pretty pretty warlike. Looks like there's a totem here, and obviously things live here. There are weapons For everywhere. Hmm. Certainly things For honor. Those hideous creatures have the bodies of horses. Loktar Ogar! And that Tarin, oh, that's what it said that was a blood hoof Tarin. It was being murdered by these centaur. Apparently centaur are not good beings, like in several, For like cr Chronicles of Narnia, centaurs were good. But not, not For here, honor. centaurs are bad. Dabu. Savage creatures. Yes. Like in Greek mythology, most Dabu. centaurs are stupid and rowdy and are not very kind. For honor. Hmm. Except for, what, what was his name? Those pig creatures are unlike anything I've ever seen before. Gosh, I don't know. At least they're prettier than the humans. Heh! <laughs> Apparently us humans are, are gross. Chain lightning! Bzzzap! One dead pig, another dead pig, a third dead pig, and this little piggy went wee 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 all the way to the Grim Reaper. Oh, and more healing wards. So, I'm gonna make sure that our units don't die now that we have so many. Another ship. For honor. Chieftain, this wreck has been abandoned for quite some time. Perhaps the crew has survived and is around here someplace. Do do do. Pig people! Kill! Let's make sure that we live. So you see, it's just like just like a healing fountain, basically. For honor. Pick up that potion of mana. You guys stay near that. Thrall will come over here and grab these headhunters. Thanks for saving us, man. We should hurry. The pigmen say there were other ships nearby. So as you can hear, apparently we picked up the trolls somewhere in Jamaica on our way to Kalimdor. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? restless. Where do you want me to go? Where do you want me to go? Who you want me to kill? I am. Who you want me to kill? Yeah. There. They're Jamaican. All right. All right, make sure those pigmen have nowhere to live. Do you, wait a second. Those pigmen were cooking a pig. Cannibals. How horrendous. Uh, I guess there's nothing up here since I went that way. So let's go this way. Yes. Do do do. Hmm. The horsemen are slaughtering those bull creatures. Ah, I led us here to escape senseless conflict. Now it seems we're surrounded by. Yeah, so you see, Thrall actually doesn't want to be at war with anybody. He's not... These aren't bloodthirsty orcs. They do enjoy fighting, but they don't want to always be fighting. They'd rather live peacefully. At least Thrall would, and he's a wise leader. As a lot of shamans are, they're wise. As several of you may or may not know, Thrall was actually raised by humans. For After honor. the Second War, the uh, the humans won the Second For War, honor. pretty much. And Dabu. the orcs lost their bloodlust and became honor. lethargic, because they have been away yeah. from their demon masters for so long. Dabu. And Thrall was born one of the first orcs to yeah. not be influenced by demons. For honor. And he was raised by some... Some guy, I, I think his name is like Blackmore or something. One second. We knew you'd find us. Thromkar, warrior. I'm glad you're all safe. Were you part of Hillscream's group? No, war chief. We were separated in the storm. We only just arrived. All right. As I was saying, he was raised yeah. by someone named Blackmore, I believe. For honor. And then yeah. he escaped and liberated several of For the orcs honor. from internment camps. He gathered the horde up. Yes. Hmm. And Dabu. more of those totems. Hmm. And another Dabu. blood hoof taran being killed by quillbores. Yeah. And that quillbores using Dabu. a healing horde. Let's stop that. Destroy that. Dabu. If you're ever playing this game against a person and they're using healing wards, it's a very good strategy to focus the healing wards so they can't heal from it. Spirit pigs. So we were just fighting a razor mane quillbore shaman right there, and apparently he could summon pigs. The horsemen look as if they're dressed for war. Wow. Yeah. Yes, they do. For honor. For honor. 
Yes. Hmm. Yes. Do, 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 do. Exploring, honor. exploring. Yes. A fountain of health. Hmm. Awesome. I won't have to use my healing wards, since we can heal up right here. Zap! Focus. Focus on the Razor Main Medicine Man, apparently, is what he's called. Destroy the Healing Ward. Destroy the Quill Bore. And so I've got three grunts, and how many? I have a total of six headhunters. So we do lots of damage. While these guys are healing up, I'm just going to click on this troll and listen to him. Why? Why? What you bother me for? What you bother me for? Leave it to me. I take a big weight off your shoulders. Huh. You want to buy a cigar? Uh, yeah. I t I, okay. Lucy. Lucy. Let's get on with it. Hmm. I'm not sure what that's a reference to. Yeah. I'm not super movie oriented, so I hmm. I wouldn't know. My friend Sean Captiville probably would no. know. Should ask that boy. Hmm. Probably knows stuff. For honor. Yes. If you don't know him, he does movie reviews on his channel, no. Vulcan Studios or something like that. I'll link it in yes. the description for you guys. For in case honor. anybody wants to see it. Double. He's cool. He's a cool dude. Oh, wait, there's something up here. Double. For honor. Yes. Lightning! Dead. Dead. Destroy that. Wand of Lightning Shield. Well, alright. Move. Grab that. Out of the way. Grab it. There we go. Let us continue. As you can see, we've uncovered most of the map that we can uncover, so we're getting to the point where the mission most likely will end. But let's keep exploring as much as we can. Down this way. More units! From car, war chief. Well met, warrior. Has there been any sign of... The horsemen are charging! Defend yourselves! Loktar! Loktar means honor. I think I said that back in the first episode of this playthrough, but... I feel I'll reiterate for you. I am Cairn, chief of the Bloodwolf Torren. You green skins fight with both savagery and valor. I am intrigued. I am Thrall, and these are my brethren, the Orcs. We've come seeking the destiny promised to us. <laughs> seeking destiny? It will find you in time, young one. However, there is an oracle far to the north which might be able to... North? But there's an army of the horsemen marching north. What? No. My village is in danger. Well, okay. Uh, go defend your village. I'm going to keep exploring. You must know more about this oracle. Follow them. Protect Cairn at all costs. Uh. Yes. I think that or we can honor. still explore, and he'll be fine. So we're, we'll just let him. We'll just let him, let him go about. If I fail the mission, then I fail the mission. But I think we'll be okay. Because there's an item right here. I want it. Let's use... Mana Potion. Shock him. Attack. Move out of the way, but Thrall, grab that item. It's a health stone. I'm sure you guys remember the health stone. Get out of the way, army! Such a choke point. Grab the health stone. It increases Thrall's uh, HP regeneration... As well as uh, hmm. increasing something else as well. There's so much of the map to explore. I think they'll be okay. I don't have to get to them, right? Right, game? I don't know if I've ever done this. Yeah, I think I think it won't trigger until I get there. Yeah, they look fine. Good. Because yeah. there's more murlocs. Tons of murlocs everywhere. Let's go ahead. Well, eh, we probably don't need to. But look, so many murlocs! So many murlocs. It's ridiculous how many murlocs there are. Yeah. For honor. They drop a Pareptive Vitality, a super awesome item. Okay, yeah, we need a healing ward there. Or a healing ward For there. Honor. There we go. I couldn't reach because Thrall got netted. He couldn't move. 
this is ridiculous. Apparently Murlocs are very weak, though, because my army hasn't died. Keep killing them. Murlocs deserve death. They dropped a potion of mana, too. Uh, let's go ahead and use that scroll of healing. Grab the potion of mana and use it. And then grab the Preemptive Vitality, because that's such an awesome item. Break open that. A potion of healing. Meh. That's not super useful. Could, oh, we could have... Oh, there's more Murlocs here. Alright. Apparently we could have gone straight down from over here and gotten there as well. We did not have to go up and around. Kill the Murloc. Go this way. Go this way. Oh, okay, this is the end of the map, apparently. So, we just slaughtered, a, like, a whole town of Murlocs, pretty much. Kind of horrible, but... What's done is done! They are dead, and I regret nothing. Destroy their houses. I mean, if you're gonna do a job, you may as well do it well. Let's destroy these houses. Get rid of them. Filthy Murlocs. Look at all those! Look at all the dead Murloc bodies! If we were undead, we could turn all of those into... Weirdly humanoid skeletons. You know? You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's let's get our army all the way up here to defend Cairn's village. Cairn Bloodhoof. He's a Tauren chieftain hero. So as you can tell, we've actually already seen all three of the orc heroes. There's Thrall, who's a Farseer. And there are the Blade Masters. I think that's what they were called, that we saw in the Human and Undead campaign. And now we see the third one, Cairn Bloodhoof. Or, you know, the Tauren Chieftain. Oh dear. And Cairn has to survive. So our goal now is to make friends with these Tauren and be awesome. Oh, their people are dying. Well, we've got we've plenty of units. Time. The next wave is advancing. We've arrived in time, and I spent all that time slaughtering a whole village of murlocs. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. We're under attack. Where? I know we're under attack. I'm right here. I'm right here with you, game. For honor. Oh, there were more down here. That's what it was talking about. Okay. Yes. Tarn Youngblood. Here they come again. Oh yeah, so Karen was calling Thrall Young One. That's because Thrall is technically like 20 or 22. He, he is a young one. And Karen, I believe, is like 102. Or something like that, so he's rather old. But he does, I mean, he's strong. He's powerful. For honor. The Tauren live a long time, apparently. They're long-lived long -lived creatures. And you can tell that they are very much inspired yeah. by... Uh, Looks like I lost a troll at some point. They're inspired by the Native Americans. Champion with them this time. And I suppose if you click on your Tarn Chieftain too much, he will say a couple of slightly racist things, but it's all in good fun. It's definitely not meant as anything mean. Just like, you know, the trolls are Jamaican, the dwarves are stereotypically Scottish. Stuff like that. Alright. Mission completed. Protect Cairn. Like a good friend would, even though we just met. Your tribe is safe, old one. Thanks to you, young war chief. But the centaur drove off all the game in this region, and I cannot allow my people to starve. Soon we must head north to the verdant grasslands of Mulgore. And you fear the marauders will overtake you? Yes. The devil's speed cannot be matched upon the plains. Well, if you tell us how to reach the oracle you spoke of, then my brethren and I will escort you on your march. I am intrigued by you and your people, young troll. You are more than welcome to join us. Fantastic. Alright guys, that's the end of this episode. I hope you liked it. Click the like button if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos. I update all the time. I'll see you guys next time.